Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this is a quick video on the relationship of the endocrine organs and these two supplements and then acid reflux. So I have um, this chart developed by this guy, Dr. Henry Harrower. He's the father of endocrinology. And he did this work back in the 50s and 60s. And this is a map of all the hormone um, glands, all the endocrine glands. So the brown boxes, these are the biggies. So we got hy hypothalamus, which is actually brain tissue. And when you see a bear running at you, you see it, that's your brain. And it, then the hypothalamus converts that into adrenaline via the pituitary. So it tells the pituitary to tell the adrenals to make adrenaline so that you can run to the nearest tree. So the brown boxes are the biggies, like I said. So we got hypothalamus, pituitary, sex hormones, thyroid, and adrenals. And then we have all these lines just indicate that everything is related to everything. The thyroid is the biggie. It's, the, it's a cornerstone for all of this. So this is the master gland, and then this is the cornerstone. Um, when the thyroid is working better, it tells the liver to detoxify more. So these are just relationships that I see. So when we help people with their thyroid, they start detoxing more. And then um, here's the pineal gland for sleep. So when the pituitary works better, people sleep better. There's a lot of relationships here. So now getting back to this pituitary, it has a direct connection to the small intestine and a direct connection to the pancreas and a direct connection to the stomach, which isn't on this chart because it's not an endocrine organ. So really bad acid reflux is oftentimes fixed by fixing the pituitary. So there's drugs like Prevacid and Prilosec, and they're for acid reflux, and they block the pituitary from functioning well. Well, instead of blocking it, why don't you fix it? And we have these supplements that fix the pituitary, and um, one of them is called pituitrophin, and there's the word right there. And the second one is called E-manganese, and there's the word right there. So manganese is a nutrient that the pituitary really needs to work well with. And it's similar to the thyroid needing iodine. So the pituitary needs manganese. So both of these have the glandular tissue of pituitary in it. And um, so th these fix the pituitary. And I've seen this happen dozens and dozens of times where acid reflux goes away when we fix the pituitary. And... Um, now, the purple pills like Prilosec and Prevacid, later on, if you're taking them later on, they will cause acid reflux. So I've only seen maybe about three people where I couldn't get them off those acid reflux pills because these people stopped those drugs and their acid reflux came back because they needed the drug again. The drugs actually caused the symptom, which is just insane to me, but that's just the way it goes. So there you go. There's a quick rundown on the relationship of the endocrine organs and the pituitary and acid reflux. All right, take care.